Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be doing gameplay with the brand new Galaxy Opal Dennis Rodman, who honestly is a card that I am really excited to try out. I think he's got the potential to be really good in a lot of different areas. Uh, elite level defender, super athletic. I uh, want to see what the release is looking like. want to see what his dribble moves, dribble sigs are looking like as well. That is going to be really, really important to see how good this card truly is and if he can be a like top tier, S tier, small forward. Because I don't know yet. It's going to be dependent on what these sigs are looking like. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Tons of consistent daily my team content. Would really appreciate it if you do subscribe. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. So, uh, Dennis Rodman is six foot seven, 93 offense, 99 defense. He's a little short. I guess, but he's got a 7-3 wingspan and certainly is not a small, small forward. Uh, 92 driving layup, no post game at all, really, but 89 mid-range, 88 base, 3 ball gets boosted up to a 92. 95 base standing and driving dunk, 92 ball, free throw, 86 ball handle, 54 pass accuracy is something that Splash pointed out on Twitter this morning that I hadn't realized beforehand. Um, that's not great. That will actually matter. He's going to throw like loopy, ugly passes. At the same time, he's the best defensive card in the game. 99 block, steel perimeter, interior, and 99 rebounding. Ridiculous. 94 speed, uh, 92 base, spew ball. 82 excel isn't great, I will say as well, but 98 vert and 95 strength, I think, base. 98, 97, 90. I don't know. Pretty high strength. 95 stamina, 99 lateral quickness. He is a ridiculously super card, especially on the defensive end of the court. 28 obstacle post riser, catch and shoot corner specialist, anchor challenger, chase down his clamps, glove interceptor, pick dodger, post lockdown, pogo stick, box up, three round chaser, brick wall, precision dunker, blow by speed booster, fast feet, red sticker, bird bulldozer, immovable enforcer, 94 feet. So he's got good badges outside of dribbling but, or outside of defense, but he literally has every single defensive badge in the game, bar none. So pretty incredible uh, Hall of Fame badges there. And and then shooting badges are or really just badges on gold include basically everything else. He is one of the more complete cards in the game, badge wise, in all honesty, uh, with every single defensive half in the game and then pretty much every single important badge in the game on at least gold, which is a huge W and really does make him a very good card. Now, the question with him at the end of the day is really going to be animations. How is the release? How are the SIGs? How does he play animation wise on the offensive end of the court? Because that will be the thing that I think has the potential to either make or break this card. Drag back is okay. Kyrie dribble style is obviously phenomenal oh they gave him a good behind the back good job 2k shout out to y'all they did not give him a good escape though that's unfortunate isn't it that's really unfortunate actually i do think this card will be very good in a lot of areas but uh, i not having a great escape does kind of hurt i will say at the same time is this deep book is this deep book escape is that what it is Oh, he's got D-Book Escape. Okay, so they gave him D-Book's Escape, which I will admit is not great. They gave it to uh, Dennis Rodman as well. Or not Dennis Rodman. They gave it to Brandon Roy as well um, last week, and I will say I don't love it on him either, but he actually has very similar sigs to Brandon Roy, uh, interestingly enough. Kyrie dribble style. I don't know. If, does Brandon Roy have Kyrie? I don't remember, but release, uh, even on very quick, it's not super fast, but it definitely is smooth enough and easy enough to green. Not tough at all with gold, limitless, and good shooting badges, good stats, all that type of stuff. Super athletic, elite level slasher with that Jamal Murray behind the back, that Kyrie dribble style and being one of the better defensive cards in the game. Dennis Rodman can do it all. He's going to be super fun. The one thing I am kind of worried about is that pass accuracy and also the release is not the fastest, but he will definitely be one of the better small forwards in the game, especially because of the defensive ability. And honestly, the release certainly isn't bad. So I'm impressed. Let's hop into a game. See what Rodman can do. All right. Our opponent is Power X 5550. Interesting. And he's got a very strange team, honestly, because uh, Hakeem, Rudy Gay, and Brad Beal. Three Opals, Brent Berry, not bad. Zlade Divac, awful card. Very strange that he has Zlade Divac in this lineup. Because the rest of his team, honestly, isn't bad. I know Brent Berry's not a card we see super commonly in lineups, I wouldn't say. But he's actually pretty good. Good sigs, good release. Just overall, a very solid card. So, uh, I don't hate him. But let's see what we can do here. Uh, come so oh, I did not mean to relax. I almost shot the ball there with Kate. I was trying to call for a screen of Robin. Here we go. Pick and fade me, Robin. The thing to remember about Robin is even with that Jamal Murray behind the back, he is not a primary ball handler. That was not a terrible fade. But I did not mean to fade there. And then Hakeem picks the pass. Not ideal to start off the game, I'll be honest. But you know what is ideal? Dennis Robin on the ball defensively. I think that's about as ideal as it's going to. As soon as I say that, I get cooked for a three ball that he should have made. So, maybe I should shut up. But I was going to say Dennis Rodman on the ball defensively is about as ideal as it gets. But I don't know if that's actually the case, actually. So uh, stop here. Let's see if we can use that Kyrie dribble style. Look at the Kyrie, man. Gets us to the rim for a layup. Very nice downhill drive by Rodman. Kyrie dribble style, man. If you know how to use it and the more cards that are getting, which is a lot of them at this point, uh, the more cards that have that, the more are going to be able to really just truly dominate. And step up here, Rodman. Let's see what we, what we can do defensively. Very good. Whoa, nobody's guarding the corner. That's all right. Switch out here. He's got the uh, switchability. Even at only 6'7". 
seven. He is like, look at this. Watch, watch this. Hakeem might, might score. Hakeem is one of the best interior cards in the game, but he might not. Exactly. That's what I'm saying right there. Look at Big Robman. That is one of those things. Like he is only six seven, so there will be certain matchups, like for example, a Hakeem or a Wilt or somebody with that type of physical size, where he is just a little small. But he is so good defensively, and height is less important this year, to where he will still at least compete, just like he did in that matchup with Hakeem right there. Was able to get us a stop. Uh, I don't think the dude whose account I'm on. By the way, shout out to my boy Jerry for letting me hop on his account to record this gameplay. I've recorded several gameplays on my boy Jerry's account. I don't think I shouted him out, and that is totally. My bad. I apologize, but I appreciate him letting me use his account for this gameplay. Rod, look at Rodman. Get active defensively then. Come on, Dennis. Let's go. We got so much D out here with Rodman in our test, and he somehow got open off of that at the end of the possession. Okay. I don't know what he, that behind the back somehow just slipped right through our test at the end of the possession. But you know what? Credit to you, I guess. Attack downhill again here. Hit our pop. Space the floor. And now we can drag back. Drag. Yep, there you go. See the drag back into the Kyrie. Gets you downhill, gets you to the rim, and gets us a dunk. Beautiful stuff. Kyrie dribble style into that rim run is going to be his most valuable uh, ability, I think, to attack the rim. In all in all honesty, that Jamal Murray behind the back is good too, obviously. But and the thing the thing about the Jamal Murray behind the back on Rodman is nobody is going to see Rodman catch the ball and think, oh, this dude's going to go try to three hunt. The thing about a card like Rodman is nobody expects him to be a three hunter. So then when you try to three hunt with him, it can catch some people off guard. Like, for example, if I drag back here, he's not going to step high. You know what I mean? I, I can stop here and shoot. See, he's playing so low off the off that I'm able to come out there to the top of the line to the top of the lane, I should say, and hit a three ball and get myself just a very. I don't feel like that shot's open with Cade Cunningham, realistically, because he's probably stepping high and going over screens. Guys who are elite level shot creators, Kobe, Austin Reeves, whatever other cards you want to consider in that category people are going to be clicking on and stepping up and trying to prevent the three ball that's not exactly the case with robin at least not at first so it's the type of thing where i feel like you could definitely find yourself with some relatively easy shots um a good shot by bloody defense right there but uh some relatively easy opportunities from the outside with robin especially with that jamal murray behind the back because you can definitely use that to like use screens effectively and things like that like right here i'm going to try to use it away from this screen right here and it worked actually i should have shot it it worked i had him that's on me, honestly. Uh, my bad there. Let's go this way. Now, there you go. Jamal Murray behind the back again. You know what you're not expecting? That from Dennis Rodman. Good freaking three ball. He is going to catch people off guard. This card is so good defensively. One of the most impressive elite defensive small forwards in the entire game. And does a lot of things well offensively. Having that elite behind the back really elevates the card. That was my fault there. I just literally walked away from, walked towards the screen and he ran away from the screen. That was on me. But um, downhill drive Cade again, hit our pop. Now watch this. We're going to go this way this time. We're going to, ooh, I messed it up. I should have just, I should just, uh, Kyrie Joel style passed him. That, see right there. It worked perfectly. See how much, see how much more effectively I got to the rim there with that Kyrie dribble style. Getting another open three ball. It is the Dennis Rodman show in my team right now not to mention you know what we're gonna come out here and we're do we're gonna harass you full court chase you up the court and apparently a game's gonna foul you which is unfortunate because i'm pretty sure robin was gonna get some sort of really good defensive animation there was gonna chase that down either contest or block that shot um his shot blocking ability his interior ability is again one of those things that makes him so valuable as a primary lock type of card because you put him on kobe you put him on tyrus thomas you put him on in this matchup bradley beal or whoever the opponent's primary ball handler might be that was such a good downhill drive and then they took me out of the dunk animation that was just rude by 2k to be honest um go get inside standing dunk. Oh, why are you shooting a layup all of a sudden we can't get anything physically done we're tartin his field goal percentage at the end of this game but i guess it doesn't really matter at this point does it um step up here watch the back yo he really got that pass through and then robin didn't jump all right so we're not finishing the game quite as crisply as i'd probably have liked otherwise but it certainly could be a lot worse i wish his escape was better that's really the only thing that i have to complain about is that his escape just isn't great good ball handling kick it out for a three 50 pass accuracy doesn't look that bad there when you have a wide open player the thing about 50 pass accuracy is i don't know if it matters that much if you're not a primary like it would obviously be nice if he had a higher pass accuracy but is that the, I didn't notice it at all in this game. I don't think I think that's something that you're only going to notice in niche situations, and I'm sure it'll be annoying. And you're trying to throw a pass to Robin across the court, and he floats it, and it winds up not being open. Like that'll happen occasionally, right? But I don't think that's going to be something that's really impactful. And like he is obviously very clearly one of the best defensive cards in the game, um, an elite level shooter, and who act, actually is a very capable shooter. And then Jamal Murray behind the back, some actual sigs. Kyrie dribble style Jamal Murray behind the back. Yes, his escape isn't great, so you're going to want to 
learn how to dribble without the escape, basically, with a guy like Dennis Rodman or, for example, a Brandon Roy, who also has this D-book escape. Not a good escape, really, to the between the legs or the front escape. So kind of going to have to figure out other ways to shot create with the card. And I think Robin has those. So really, really good card. Very impressed by how he played in this game. And do I recommend him to grind? I, and for a lot of people, I think the answer might be yes, honestly. It's not a hard grind. It's maybe four, four and a half hours, uh, mostly uh, pretty much all offline if you want to do it. So not too bad for a top tier defender in the game. He's a really good card. The rest of the set isn't amazing, I understand, but he himself is phenomenal. So hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate you all. Peace.